Hi, my name is Juan Rodriguez and I'm a collaboration technical marketing engineer here at Cisco. Today we're going to be talking about the various ways that you can schedule a meeting in the WebEx app. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing you need to take a look at is your settings. You need to make sure that your settings are set to what you want them to be. Under meetings workflow, you have the option to choose WebEx app scheduler, Microsoft Outlook, or even Google Calendar. Let's go ahead and start with the demonstration of the WebEx app scheduler. To schedule a meeting with the WebEx app scheduler, let's go ahead and go to the calendar and meetings app. Let's go ahead and schedule a meeting. The first thing I gotta do is click on schedule a meeting. This will bring up a new screen which has all the options I need to schedule that meeting. I can change the topic, select the date, time, use a one-time me meeting or a personal meeting. I have advanced options for audio connections and scheduling options. Here, I can add as many invites as I need and I can add a description. Once I'm done, I can hit schedule and I'll see that meeting show up in my calendar. From here, I can update the meeting if I need to as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options. If you like to use Microsoft Outlook instead of the WebEx app to schedule meetings, you can come here and change your settings to Microsoft Outlook. Now, when I click schedule a meeting, I can see a new personal meeting invite got generated directly from Microsoft Outlook. I can add as many people as I like, set the time, already have all the WebEx information here and hit send. And as you can see, as soon as the email is sent, Outlook synchronizes its calendar to the WebEx app calendar. Another way that we can schedule a meeting is directly from Outlook. If you go here and you have a tool called Productivity Tools installed in your Outlook, you can come in and schedule a personal meeting directly from Outlook. As you can see, the invite will come with all the appropriate information already. All you have to do is select a time, add the people you want to invite, add the location if you need to, and hit send. Once this is sent, you'll see that the Outlook calendar has been updated, and so has the WebEx calendar. An additional way that you can schedule a meeting is directly from your WebEx page. If I click here, I can come in and schedule a meeting with all the appropriate information that I need. Once I have all the appropriate information, I can go ahead and hit schedule, and this will schedule the meeting directly from the WebEx page. Again, even if you schedule the meeting via the web page, you will see it in your Outlook calendar and you will also see it in the web exam calendar. All of this is possible because I have calendar connector enabled, which means that my calendar services will always synchronize to the web exam. The other way I want to talk about scheduling a meeting is within a space. If you have a group space going, you can schedule a meeting directly from there. This will automatically create a space meeting. If you have it set to Outlook, it will automatically create an Outlook invite with the space name and everybody that's invited already in it. You can just adjust the time and hit send. If you decide to change it back to the web scheduler in your settings, which is my preferred method, you can go ahead and do the same thing you'll get uh, WebEx app scheduler instead, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And from here, you can go in and update all the information, see the availability of the other people, hit schedule and schedule your meeting. And that is all in scheduling in the WebEx app. Again, my name is Juan Rodriguez. I hope you have a wonderful day.